And I believe in the Second Amendment. You know, we've got a long tradition of, of hunting and sportsmen uh, and people who want to make sure they can protect themselves. But there have been too many instances during the course of my presidency where I've had to comfort families who've lost somebody, most recently out in Aurora. Yeah, now, I, just, I'm not in favor of new pieces of legislation on, on guns and, and taking guns away or, or making certain guns illegal. We, of course, don't want to have automatic weapons, and that's already illegal in this country to have automatic weapons. What, what I believe is we have to do, as the President mentioned uh, towards the end of his remarks there, which is to make enormous efforts to enforce the gun laws that we have and to change the culture of violence we have. The, the, the greatest failure we've had with regards to, to gun violence in some respects is what, what is known as Fast and Furious, which was a program uh, under this administration and how it worked exactly, I think we don't know precisely, but where thousands of automatic and, and AK-47 type weapons were, were given to people that ultimately gave them to, to drug lords. They used those weapons against, uh, against their own citizens and killed Americans with them. And this was, a, this was a program of the government. For what purpose it was put in place, I can't imagine. But it's one of the great tragedies related to violence in our society, which has occurred during this administration, which I think the American people would like to understand fully. It's been investigated to a degree, but, but the administration has, uh, has, uh, has carried out executive privilege to, to prevent all the information from coming out. I'd like to understand who it was that did this, what the idea was behind it, why it led to the violence, Thousands of guns going to Mexican Danny. drug Governor, lords. Governor, if I could, the, the question was about these assault weapons that once were banned and are no longer banned. Uh, I, I know that you signed an a, a assault weapons ban when you were in Massachusetts. Obviously, with this question, you, you no longer do support that. Why is that, given the kind of violence that we see sometimes with these mass killings? Uh, why is that that you've changed your mind? Well, Candy, actually, in, in my state, the pro-gun folks and the anti-gun folks came together and put together a piece of legislation. And, and it's referred to as, a, as the, an assault weapon ban, but it had, at the signing of the bill, both the pro-gun and the anti-gun people came together. Because but I think that one area we agree on is the importance of parents and the importance of schools. Because I do believe that if our young people have opportunity, then they're less likely to engage in these kinds of violent acts. We're not going to eliminate everybody who is mentally disturbed, and we've got to make sure that they don't get weapons, but we can make a difference in terms of ensuring that every young person in America, regardless of where they come from, what they look like, have a chance to